United States Post Office, Campville, Pennsylvania. Documentary funded by the Jewish Cultural Society on this, the Jewish New Year, in honor of Postmaster John McElwee. This post office, built in 1989 or 88, maybe it was 87, once quoted by former Postmaster Dean Smith as the most beautiful post office he had ever seen. What a sight. Okay, let's, let's take a ride on in and see what now Postmaster John McWee has instituted into this office. He's incorporated sweeping changes and restructuring the overall function of this office. Up to the front of the post office. We're going to take a look at the stamp window that John McElwee has instituted. Many of the customers in Camp Hill have stated that they have never been happier with the service. Let's take a ride up. Maybe we can get a glimpse of John helping out the window as he usually does. What? Something. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Mac, we ordered this to be open every day at approximately 8 o'clock. Something's gone wrong. We're going to have to take a look inside. Closed. I know who did that. We all know who did that. And we're going to talk to the man right now. Nearing the back of the post office, where Mac has incorporated a parking policy, said, to hell with the handicap. My employees come first. The workers love them. The handicapped, well, that's another story. But hey, he's leaving in a couple days. Ask him if he cares. Yeah. You're now looking at the mail truck of carrier Greg Foley, Route 6 probably the best kept truck in the whole entire postal service. There's Mac's truck. No, that's not Mac's truck. There's Mac's car. Take a look at this. John McAlee, he's a proud Irishman. Graduate of the 1949 class of Notre Dame. Valedictorian. Mac could have been anything, but he chose this career. As you can see, he's got his alumni license plate on the front of his premier. And the Camp Hill Post Office. Beautiful building. Now we will knock on the door of Mr. McElwee and see if he's in his office. Mr. McElwee. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Is Mr. McElwee in his office? Mr. McElwee's in the building. I'm not sure where he's at. Normally, we can find Mr. McElwee checking the stats in the papers. He's a gambler. He's a big-time gambler. What are you doing today, Greg, besides the walking around camp? Well, we're going to do a tape for Mr. McElwee and uh, get a very serious and brief uh, statement from each and every employee. Serious, huh? Hey, don't. What do you mean? Screw this fellow. What's going on here? This is union business. Union business? Two hey, union screws. Get that camera out of here. Where are you hey, going? No, no, hey, I'm hey, hey, hey. Gary! Okay, let's move on. We'll talk to you guys later for a statement. Thank you very much. Anytime. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Yeah. Anything else? Very brief. Mike's a brief person. You can tell by what he wears under his pants. Miss Lysel. This is Miss Lysel. I have too much work to do. Mr. Max gave me all this mail. I've got to get it out. Oh, so you really don't have anything to say to the old man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, let's see. I have to keep busy now. Let's see if we can find Tony Fortini at the water fountain. Tony. Yes, it was, Anthony. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? McElwee? He's leaving, you know. Another one? Yes. Another postmaster? Yeah, well, this was funded by the uh, rehired Gene Smith 
committee. Uh, Mac was a good guy. I remember him well. No, uh, he was very, very. He's always real nice to me. Fair man. I worked for him many times, and uh, <laughs> hope he looks me up when he starts his new photography business. Uh, Thanks for keeping it brief. <laughs> Dennis, I have to talk to you. This is Dennis Furman, my new buddy who paid my way into the Penn State game and wouldn't take any gas money. Dennis, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwain? Look at that stash. Good luck, Mac. How would you Enjoy like to have a mustache me. like that? Anything else? Hey, don't Go get Irish. too close now. You're going to crack Go the Irish. lens. Go Irish. You're not Irish. Aren't you Hispanic? What's your, name, What's your last name? <laughs> Herman Veros or something? <laughs> Anything uh, else you'd like off, to say to Matt? I was up to your stamp window this morning, Dennis. Close. I'm on my way now. <laughs> All right. All right. Rebecca Alexander. She's leaving. This is Patty. We understand that she's going to have an addition to her family. <laughs> This is probably the best clerk that Camp Hill has ever hired. Tammy, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? He's retiring, you know. Is there any kind of gift that you could give him? Doesn't have to be uh, material. <laughs> well, I might think of something later. All right, thank you, Tamara. Herman Munster. Herman, is there anything you'd like to say to John McElwee upon his retirement? Look at the size of that guy. He don't even have lift or two. Holy cow, look at the size of them feet. How's your feet smell? My feet smell good. No. I can't. I have a hole in my sock. Here, let me get a close up on that hole. Here. Do you have a hole? I have, uh, I have, yeah, I have a hole. Oh, that's a. I, I, don't, want, I don't want you to see my hole. Where'd you get them shoes? Goodwill. Goodwill. <laughs> the ambassador of Goodwill. We'll be back to talk to you a little later. How long are you going to do this? Oh, an hour, maybe two. All morning long, Mr. McElwee. Well, I have to go to pee before I forget. Oh, okay. Knock the dew off the lily pad. Hey, don't shake anything off, you know what I mean? Are you going to call him in the bathroom? Can I take a picture of this? This is the men's room. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you crazy. <laughs> hey, hey. What's that? They punched me. <laughs> Chris, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee, Mr. Geisweit? I hold him in high esteem for what he did. What's esteem mean? Is that something that comes out of a locomotive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what he did, and nobody had the guts to do. What, what was that, Paul? I have a cigarette there. He restructured the entire postal melee. Melee? Oh, Paul, this is going to get you that 204B position. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. There he is again. <laughs> Mr. Mackle, look at the size of that man. He was a tackle with Notre Dame. Mr. McCreary? Uh, sir. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Not very much. Okay, thanks a lot, Bill. You've always been helpful. Excellent. How's the kids? How's the grandson? Oh, he's getting bigger. He's getting bigger? Yeah. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay. Hey. Canfield Post Office. Now your attention, please. Oh, you guys have to be careful. Steven Spielberg always in with his camera. This is Bob Winger, probably the best-looking carry ever to cross this floor. <laughs> but is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Brief and, and sincere. Thank you very little. This is Dick Clark. Hi, Greg. He's a veteran of Carrier Wars. He's been here for many, many years. Many, many years. Look at the shape he's in. <laughs> Mr. Clark, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Yes. I hate to see you leave. Do you hate him? No, I do. Oh, you hate to see him. And we have Johnny Unitas, casing mail. He's a celebrity caser today. Johnny? Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Good luck and hope you stay. Okay, do you have a straw hat for him? 
I don't want to know. You can wear it. Mr. McAwee said he's never eaten more salads in his life. Hey, I've got a duct tape up your mouth. He's got duct tape, too. Yeah, but roll his mouth. Anything else, Jim? No, Lily. Who the? Here it is. Dan Juliana Lewis. <laughs> How you doing, Dan? Is there anything you'd like to say to Jay? I mean, Mr. McAwee. Mr. Mack, good luck on your retirement. The only man that could get rid of the Lewis. Thank you very much. Do you think he's a good-looking man? I mean, if you were a girl. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, he's very All handsome. right, thank you. Uh, not as handsome as Wolf, though. Hi. <laughs> Hi. This is Steve the Greek Bowen. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McAwee? No, me and the kid hit. What? Anything you'd like to say on his retirement? Why? Steve, keep it brief. Look at him working. He's a worker. Gregory, what are you doing here? I'm filming you. Can we, can we get the good stuff? Gotta get, there it goes. Hi, Jenny. Get, get the hell off my route. I'm doing a better job. Greg, Greg. Kenny. Get a picture of Kenny. 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 I can't find him. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. Matt? Mr. Matt? Yeah. So, don't go. But that's a block. Is there anything you can do to ensure him that he will stay another year? It doesn't have to be material. No. <laughs> no. Thank you, Jenny Ray. Senior carrier, Loring Thomas. He's a dinosaur. He's been here for many years. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElroy? What's the occasion? Greg? Mr. McElroy's retiring this week. Oh, you didn't know, did you? Best man we ever had. Oh, I know. It's been a great year. <laughs> uh, good luck to you, pal. Thank you, Loring. Uh, ever so sincere. Hey, my buddy and your buddy, Jim Ryder. Just don't break the lens. Jim, slow down now. No, no, I can't. Slow down. Is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, good luck, Mac. That was Jim Ryder. Prince Valiant. Ron Swiger, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElroy? Hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you very little. That's his last name. No, probably the most productive worker in the entire office. Frank Carita. Spent many years perfecting his method. Frank, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Okay, that's about it. Frank, uh, what's your IQ, Frank? <laughs> Frank's going to shine the double moon. Thank you, sir. Hey. Frank wants to show Mac what he's been doing in the offspring. Beautiful. He's a he-man. <laughs> Thank you much, Frank. Lance Quadgo, union steward. Representative of all employees in this office. <laughs> is, there anything, is there anything you'd like to say, Lance? No, I'd like to say thanks to Mac for being a good guy and definitely miss him. Man, uh, hey, you got a pimple. You got a pimple on your chin. No. Let's see if we can get a close. Oh, no, it is. That's just donut. A little bit of donut from this morning. Stand right. <laughs> hey. This is Mike Gorman checking in. How's that? Hey, Greg Olay. Mike has been instrumental in many of the changes in this office. He's now checking in with the new system that he has incorporated. Hey, don't trip there. Uh, Remember, safety first. Afraid not. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McAwee? Afraid not. Afraid not. George, anything uh, you'd... Oh, hey. Now, he already knows He's what I want to say. He's been the best postmaster since Chuck Trout. Since Chucky. Yeah, that Is there anything funny you can say? Can you can you do anything funny? Well, I don't know. What do you think? Mike, can you do anything funny for him? <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, tell him his retirement's not. Ron Altland, could you come here a second? Yeah, tell him his retirement's not. This is John McAwee's right hand man. Helps him with a lot of things. Is there anything you'd like to say to John? Yes. It was a distinct pleasure sitting with Jay Lewis's nephew at the Penn State football game on Saturday. Great. You act like just like Jay. What do you mean by that? Hey, he didn't touch his nose once. <laughs> Good job, John. <laughs> Prison. Let him out of there. Do you need a cup? Okay, we'll we'll get Mac a big big uh, 
what's it called, a block? Yeah, Do you sell them in blocks? From Munda cheese. cheese. What type of cheese is that, Frank? That's from under my ball. Oh, oh his wife's going to see this. <laughs> this is Bill Myers. He thinks he's beat me in the football pool, but we got a game tonight. Is there anything you'd like to say, Mr. McElwee? Uh, uh, Mr. McElwing, McElwork, McElwee. Yeah, he's the one that's been here for almost a year now. Any wishes or uh, any gifts you can... Have a nice retirement. Have a nice retirement. Thank you, Bill. Thanks for all the overtime. Thanks for all the overtime. Wait, Jeff Stevenson. Jeff? Jeff. No. Jeff. Uh, what? what? I'm trying to rest, man. Okay, Jeff. What are you doing? I'm in here doing a documentary on John McAwee, sponsored by oh, the Jewish the Cultural Society. Ever lived. The greatest postmaster ever lived. Let me tell you about that, man. What are you doing in here on your day off, though? You're an idiot. I got called in. You got called in? Yeah, Gene, They're Gene, paying you to do this. Gene Smith is sponsoring this. Gene Smith? Who's yeah. That? Yeah. He's the only uh, friend oh, no, Mackle we ever had. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out of here. I'm trying to work. Can't you see? You didn't. You still didn't say nothing. Yeah, did I say he was the greatest postmaster ever lived? Yeah. Oh. And he did us the biggest favor ever. Okay. And everyone knows what that is. Do you mean it? I mean it. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> ah! Jeez. Where did? <laughs> this is Charles Needham, probably the hardest working supervisor ever worked in Camp Hill. Charles. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? McElwee? McElwee, yeah. The guy, the guy that picks on you all the time? In blows, private. In blows private. smoke in your face? In private. <laughs> oh, you want to say it in private? Let me think about that. I'll get, I'll, you, I'll get back to you. All right, I'll get you in the men's room. Isn't that where you usually are? <laughs> Cooster! <laughs> Frank Harid again. Jay wants to know where the cake's at. Mac's going to drive it over to his house when they have dinner Friday night. Jay's having him over for dinner. <laughs> Look at the size of that head. Holy cow. What happened to your mustache? Yeah, it looks frosted. <laughs> oh, where, where'd that come from? <laughs> Holy cow. The route's so big, they have to put two carriers on it. His assistant, Ken Coleman. Happy retirement, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> if you Paul, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I'd like to wish Mac a happy retirement and tell him that I'm really disappointed that we never got that keg put in the swing room like you wanted to do. I guess, like I said, that idea is going to be gone. Now. Okay. What do you think of that? You, are you, you concur? Think, uh, do you know what that camera's made out of? Japanese stuff. You should check it out. You'll probably be eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Ken. Good morning, Jackie. This is Jackie Marvin. She's not a morning person. <laughs> Tiny, is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? I'm sorry, Scott. Can you speak up? I wish you were going to stay. It's been nice to work with you. Okay, who was your favorite postmaster? Okay. Barry Cake wasn't? He was all right. Well, he taught Mac everything. Yeah, there Okay. Hey, Mac told me down in Maryland, he told Barry, he taught Barry everything. He taught Barry everything? everything. And what did Barry teach you? Nothing. How to carry with reckless abandon. Thank you, Scott. Hey, Miami. <laughs> Miami. This is Randy Wire. Randy is an excellent worker. Excellent. Randy, what did you have for breakfast this morning? 15 sandwiches. Uh, a McDonald's sandwich? A McDonald's sandwich. I get it. I get it. In honor of McElwee. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. Mac? Yes, I would. Mac, happy retirement, Mac. That's the wishes to you. That's it? That's all you could come up with? Do your dance, man. Do your Irish leprechaun dance. <laughs> come on, Randy. Just a couple steps. What? Do your Irish leprechaun dance for Mac. What's that? You know, like the Lucky Charms guy. Look at that. Look at that, man. Elvis is living. <laughs> Diligent worker. I'm sure she's going to miss Mr. McElwee. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? This is a, no, this is sponsored by the Jewish Cultural Society, Friends of Gene Smith. And 
<laughs> oh, come on, Joyce. One sentence. Bye, Max. Nice having you with me. <laughs> Joyce is so sincere. This is Roger Hockenberger. Hey, hey. How you doing, Rod? This is for Mr. McElwee. Where's he going? He's going somewhere, uh, somewhere off in the wild blue uh, yonder. He's leaving, Rod. He's gone. He's history. It won't be long now. That's what the monkey said when he backed his tail into the meat grinder. Well, that's the best mess we've ever had, Barry. Greg, don't pull that. Gene, cricket. Greg, don't pull that. Okay, Terry Hall. Did you remember Terry Hall? He was a good one. Chuck Traub. Was he a good one? So you're you're saying that he's probably up there in the top five. He's in the top five or six since I've been here. I think we've had five or six. Five or six? Yeah, but he's been among the top. You've been here 15 years, maybe? Uh, 12 years. 12 years, and you've had five or six postmasters. Amazing. Yeah, there's quite a turnover. It's almost like the restaurant business, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rod. Bye-bye. Chris Winkinanich. This is Chris. Hi. You wouldn't know it, but he's a Polak. Yes, you would know it. <laughs> Thanks, Joyce. Mac, we're going to miss you. Is this for Mac? Chris, you got something on your corner of your mouth. No, I'm just kidding you. Ah, it's just a joke. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. Mac? We're going to miss you, Mac. Who's we? I don't see no mouse in your pocket. I know Mr. Oley. Knock it off. Lily? It, he used to be the police chief in New Cumberland. I know Mr. Oley. Oley. Oh, okay. Mr. Oley. Look at the size of that case. Chris takes an average of 29 feet out a day. No, that's my route number. Oh, Chris's route number is route 29. He takes an average of 9 feet out a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. He's a quiet type guy. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee, Craig? Yeah, why don't you give Ole something to do so he's got some work instead of carrying that camera around? What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, he's running around here taking up my time and everything, but hey, Mac, good luck in your retirement. Thank you, Craig. Well put. Who the? There's Steve Bowen. I don't know why they call him Sloth. Yeah, you can peek at the... Next case. Jim McKinley. Yes. Anything you'd like to say? Yes, I would. I'd like to thank Mac understanding. I had a problem with my wife. Uh, I wish him a long and happy retirement. And thanks for getting rid of the midget. What do you mean by that? The midget, the midget. Gary Harlacker retired. He didn't get rid of him. Oh, the other midget. The other midget. You know which. Russell. Russell. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, now it's time for a cigarette. Max out there smoking. <laughs> Is he discussing postal policy with several of the employees? Always trying to promote goodwill around the office. Is that a cigarette in his hand? What a filthy habit. Oh, you swine bucket. You no good, rotten, alcoholic. Uh, I'm just kidding. Let me go out and talk to you. Oh, there he goes. Watch out. Look at it, twins. <laughs> this is John McElmee and Les Hillibish. People say they're twins. They've got a lot in common. They like smoking, they like drinking, and they like gambling. That's why they're here. Les is so shy. Look at him. He, he's camera shy. Anything you'd like to say to Mr. Mac, Les? Did you, like to have up, huh? <laughs> Did you hear that? What do you think of that? There he's sitting right beside you, and he's abusing the hell out of you. He's picking a winner. He's picking a winner there. All and what are you doing, Mr. Mac? Promoting goodwill? What kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Camels. Camels? You want to, you want to take a picture of them? Let me get a close-up of that camel. Oh, it's getting blurry. Hold it there still. I'm so nervous. I was never on TV before. <laughs> That's a beauty. Okay, well, we're going to go in and talk to some of the other employees about what you've done to them. Good, yeah. Get out of here. Mr. McElwee brought him up from smoking because he was his right-hand man. <laughs> Mark, is there anything you'd like to say? To Mr. McElwee upon his retirement. Have a nice one, Matt. He is. He's the greatest. Mark knows he has a way with words. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Va, 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 boom. Deliver. You deliver. Mr. McElwee would like to know what you're going to deliver for him. Get a side view of that. Yeah, can I get a side view of that? <laughs> get the arm down. Is there anything you'd like to say to John? Oh, my God. Um, Who's the Elvis? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Go ahead. Ah, uh, you're a great postman. I love you. I'll be back a little later when you can think of something a little better than that. You don't love him. It's infatuation. Now I'm back to Charles Needham. He needed a few minutes to clear no, his... Except for not having the uniform on, you're doing what you usually do, walking around, trying to be funny. What do you, you know? mean by that? And what do you do? What exactly is your job here? Working. You're working? I, I, I fail to see any kind of labor going on here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I know what it is. When the police take somebody in to question them, you know, you're the man, huh? That's right. That's right. Anything you want to say to John before I leave? I'm still thinking about it. Oh, okay. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Okay. Roberto. Is there anything you'd like to say to John? Yeah, I need help. He needs help again. <laughs> well, people can't help you go to the bathroom, Bob. Oh, okay. Well, in that case... Hi, John. Best of luck. Is there anything you'd like to give him? Any kind of gift or anything? Uh, not today. <laughs> not today. Thank you, Russell. Kang. Oh, my bad. Kang. Come back. Oh, okay. Did you see that? He, he took off. John, is there anything you'd like to say to John? John. Oh, yeah. Hey, how come you look so tired? Where were you last night? Oh, you got a cold. What time did you go to bed? About 11. 11? Is that right? Right. That's a beauty. Okay, John, anything else? Have a good one. Okay, work away. Flirt. This is Flirt Banks. 40 years old. One of the best looking guys. That's for who? Jay or Mac? That was beautiful, man. They are some nice underwear. Where'd you get them? Kmart. Kmart? <laughs> yeah, let me take my glasses on. Okay, yeah, you are, but you are good. He's a vegetarian. Look at her. Look at the shape he's in. Forty years old. Look at the girth. Is there anything you'd like to say to John? John who? John McElwain. Oh, is that what you, oh I didn't know for John. You give him that take. <laughs> hey, don't get nervous no, now. No. No. No, this is for McElwee. We'll miss you, John. That's, that's, that's as good as you can do, huh? That's it. Unless you want me to move again. No, don't do that again. Man. His wife's going to see this. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Flirt. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Ow! Woo! Look at that. Woo! Man, something you'd see at the, the pool there or something. Okay, Wendy, did you think anything to say? Is he welcome back if he ever wants yeah, to come back? I wish he'd stay. Okay. Now, in my qualification, I never have a headache and don't have any hang-ups. <laughs> you don't have any hang-ups. Hold up. No hang-ups. Are you sure you don't have any hang-ups at all? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Wolfie. Woo. Is there anything you want to say to John? Goodbye. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Max. You did more for that, anybody in this office than the last four postmasters we've had. Oh, you've been through four, huh? Yeah. You've been here two years, huh? <laughs> a little bit longer than that. All right. Thanks again, Max. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Dave. Oh, we already got him out smoking twice. You already got me, jerk. Hey, don't call me that, man. All the things we've been through together. Will you do it by do one of these for Jay? No. And we'll prepare them. This is it, man. This is I'm doing this because Gene Smith paid me. Have a nice retirement, Mac. All right. As you can see, he's well up. Harry Whistler, one of the most famous carriers in the office. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't punch the camera. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to Mac? Yeah. What do you get when you put a termite? Uh, let me see. A termite is a crane mantis. What do you get when you... 
termite with a praying mantis. What do you get when you put a termite with a praying mantis? We don't know. A bug that prays before he eats your house. A bug that prays before he eats your house. He is the master of jokes. Have a good one, Max. All right, thank, later, buddy. thank you, Harry. Harry is Max's boy, according to Jay. Well, there he is. Mr. Uh, boisterous, Eric uh, Boer. Thank you. Is there anything boisterous you'd like to say? Thank you for the time you've given us. Best of luck to you in your retirement. Thank you, Eric. Well, anything else? That's it. Great. <laughs> Eric's a little shy. He was hey, going to be a priest. Understand. Him and Needham were going to be priests together. The colonel, man. Korean War veteran, Randy Bear. There he is. Is there anything you want to say, Mr. McElwee? Good luck to you, Matt. Have a good uh, retirement. Thank you, Randy. Anything else? E.T., call home. E.T., call home. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Must be in... <laughs> oh, she is so good. I love your hair. Looks great. Is there anything you'd like to say to Mr. McElwee? Max, Max. It's been nice having you. Say, Mac, Mac, come back. <laughs> will that make a difference? Yes, it will. If you say that, that will make a difference. Hey, don't say that now. This is, you know, his wife's going to see this. <laughs> anything else? Just good luck. Have a great retirement. You deserve it, I'm sure. Thank you, Regina Shealy. Thank you. Look, look at the size of this monster. Football coach, community leader. Excellent, excellent carrier. He's filled the shoes of Gary so well. People are already starting to make the comparisons. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Hey, Alex, we got to get you in. Sorry again. There's one more guy that you got to go to get their retirement wish for back. His name's Jay Lewis. Who? Jay Lewis, uh -huh. a, former, a former supervisor here, one of my best pals. He lives in New Cumberland. You can, don't forget to go over and get him down in New Cumberland. He'll have a lot of nice things. To Harry, he lives in Mechanicsburg. Did he move? Yeah, get his new address, will you? Okay, I'll, I'll get him for you. You can get back get to Mac. Tape before you get off. <laughs> Thank you, Harry. This is our spiritual leader in the post office. Hey, what were you getting? Were you giving me the finger? Don't give me the finger, Bob. This is Bob Effinger. He's our religious petty officer in the office. Very good guy. Quiet, doesn't bother Max, anybody. Since your popcorn now has run out and he's gotten everybody else, I'd like to say, have a good retirement. Thank you very much, Bob. That's the best you can do? Well, I hope you aren't giving the sermon this Sunday at Mass. <laughs> See you, Bob. Uh, honey? Honey, you didn't put mayonnaise on my sandwich this morning. And another thing, I hate them chips. You know I hate sour cream and onion. What happened to the barbecue chips? Just kidding, Chuck. Down through the aisle. This is Ken Clawson, one of the oldest carriers we have. But, <laughs> but Ken's only... And the only Pirates fan in here. Ken's 67, and he only has 15 years to go. Ken, is there anything you'd like to say to John oh, yeah, McElwig? This, uh, this isn't about the pirates. This has nothing to do with the pirates. Frank and him like the pirates. Sure, sure, sure what it is. Frank, you and Frank like the pirates. Who's this Frank guy? Is he a former postmaster? Yeah. Anything you want to say to John? Former postmaster. Oh, good luck. Hey, can you wipe your forehead off? It's putting a glare on my. Spielberg. Steven. Being returned to the sender because we damaged it in handling and I can't read his complaint. That's the new postal service. Okay, can we get a close-up on that, Mr. McElwee? Let me, let me get a close-up. Okay, postal service consumer service card. We damaged it in handling. We, we damaged it? We send it back to the customer. Who's we? I don't see no mouse in your pocket. We, it's mostly you. It's from your route. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You don't mean that, do you? It's off. It's off. Jenny, it's off. It's off. The battery's dead. What do you want? I don't know where some things go on this route. I'm, I'm not. Where's the one that's going off in James Roberts around the back of the bear? Where's the bear, Matt?
James Roberts is upstairs, 1509. Yeah. He's... Hey, Ole! Look at... Hey, Mac, where's the beer? Who's this, honey? Randy, can you give us a hearty laugh, a, a Randy Wire laugh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jenny. I can't make anything of it. I'll be, I'll be right over, Jen. Do you have Do you have a minute to talk, Jim? Why, uh, I don't know, Mary. I'm no, I think his pizza's getting cold. We're going to bring Mac in when he <laughs> retires to answer the phone. <laughs> I think he can do that. Why, uh, why, uh, why uh, he, you know. Lord, how's your route going? Did they cut it yet? Oh, heavens, no. Mr. Mac, we said next week you're going to get that cut. Next week? Hey, fantastic. He's done everything off for us. Or why not that? <laughs> Frank again? Matt. Yeah, do you have anything vulgar? Yeah, no. Uh, what I, I did want to say is, you know, Matt, you're a blessing to come here, and we, we're going to miss you. But we never recognized how tall you actually were because we always saw always shoes sticking out from under your desk. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. And probably the best umpire in the entire office, Tom Kraus, graduate of Millersville, 1969. Tom, is there anything you want to say? Hold on, I gotta stand back so I can get you in the picture. <laughs> I promise I won't worry. Okay. Tom resembles Fred Flintstone in a way. Yeah, bam, bam. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. This is another thing you did for us. You put in this time clock. We love it. Because it got rid of three more employees. It was a beauty. Everybody's so happy with what you've done in here. Can you can you ask him what the hell he wants? <laughs> Just watching you every minute, whether you're Can on you the clock Rebecca? or not. Come here, Rebecca. <laughs> or not, we just wanted to say goodbye to you in the right way, and uh, good luck in your retirement, and don't hurry back. Come again. Uh, Hi, George. How are you, sir? Pretty good. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, Indoor annual. Same as it ever is, huh? Indoor annual. <laughs> Pays the same. How are you feeling today? Rotten. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Can you talk to Jackie for me? She's kind of upset that I filmed her. No, not Jackie. She yeah. never gets upset. She is. She always gets your keys and everything else. Anything you yeah. want. Yeah. Well, could you talk to her for me? Yeah, I'll make her happy. For you. Thanks a lot, George. Some for five. Some for five. <laughs> this is the router workshop. In here, we have four of the best routers in the office. Mary Ann McKenna, I don't believe we've had a chance to talk to you this morning. Is there anything you'd like to say about anything? Yeah, Mac. Uh, if anybody wants me, I'll be outside having my last cigarette. You don't smoke. Until about 9.15. What kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Left-handers? Same kind of smack. Camel. Camel killers. Yeah. <laughs> you look it. <laughs> <laughs> Bob? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to leave now. Okay. Anything you want to say? Have a great time. Oh, I, you know who I didn't get? Kang. We have to end the film with Kang. Thanks for your help, everyone. Appreciate it. Anything else? Anybody else want to say that? And this is so repetitious. That's Frank Farida. You're really going to miss Frank. What is he doing? Oh, <laughs> See how we work in here? Please. E. Day Kang. Mac's favorite carrier. Is there anything you want to say to Mr. McElwee Kang? Uh, uh, Thank you. It's about the overtime. Uh, he gives me lots and lots of overtime. He gives you lots of overtime? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably, I don't know. What about Jay? Did Jay give you lots of overtime? Yes. Yeah. Do, do you want to say happy retirement? Do you want to say, say happy retirement? Yeah, happy retirement. Uh, you know. Oh, Hoover! This guy is ridiculous, man. He really likes me. Hey, he's getting a I guess it's a little too late to get ahead of Greg for sucking up, but you've really been a good choice, man, so we're going to miss you. And, uh, stop back and let us know when the rotisserie party is at your house. <laughs> This is it. Lovers in the night. <laughs> okay, goodbye, everyone. Thanks for your help. Hey, you didn't go in there. I did.
I'll be right down there. Can we have can we have a round of applause for Mr. McElwee? You hear that? You hear that? No, I mean a real round of applause. <laughs> We got myself. Oh. Mike wants to get on one last time. <laughs> what is going on in there? <laughs> Joyce will not leave her hands off for of Frank. Just kidding. Goodbye, Lord. Ginny, I'll be right over to help you, if the price is right. right. Kenny? Yeah. Bowen? Yeah. Look at a man. You find that picture on the post office wall, right there. Oh, he got me right in the chest. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Hey, Frank Carita wants to say one last thing to Mac. He said, can he have your old stationery because they run out of toilet paper in the men's room? <laughs> okay, Jim. Old desk. No feet up on the desk. No smell of cheap cologne. But Jay did want to give you one last message, John. Screw you, Michael. Screw you, Michael Wee. Screw you, Michael Wee. This is for you, you son of... Hey, thanks for the pay, though. Hey, I hope this ain't coming out of your budget. <laughs> and Mac, your dog would like to say one thing to you. <laughs> Feed me, you lazy ass. <laughs> that lights her. Isn't she beautiful? She's a very lovely woman for 56. <laughs> Two more years till retirement. No, no. One. I'm one? Going at 57. She's going at 57. Look at the shape she's in. Skinny, nice hair. Always fresh smelling breath. Uh, okay, okay. Please, Becky. I'll give you five bucks. Hey, five's, five's it. There goes Rebecca Alexander. The man is a representative of the Redland Soccer Association. Coach, parent, and financial supporter. Dan, is there anything you want to say to John? On his retirement? I'm leaving. George will say something. George always has time. Okay. Would you say something to him, Greg? Dan? Dan. Say something to who? Dan, you always used to be so jovial. And then when McElwee got here, you, your whole disposition changed. Why? Tough situation. Okay. Tough situation. Okay. Hey, enough of Jay now. What? Who's here? This is the storage area where you can often find Mac on the floor with a sleeping bag. <laughs>